Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I've got a one sheet project for you today. I've not done one for a while. And I'm going to be doing a one sheet project. It will be an insert for your journal that will have 10 tuck spots. So it's a 10 tuck spot insert, all made from one page. Well, I'm saying it's made from one page. The base is one page. Yes, we're going to use other bits. But there's no cutting and measuring for the first bit. Yeah? So, it is part of the Journal Jigsaw collaboration. Yeah, that's a collaboration between Angela Kerr and Rachel and Bella Crafts. The sixth is the 60... The, the 60 videos going up over next month, two per day. There'll be one grungy each day and one shabby chic. And if you follow every tutorial, either the grungy or the shabby chic, at the end of it, you'll have a journal. Now, I don't have time to make the full journal, so what I've done is I've just made a little makeshift journal to store my pages in for the ones that I'm following. Yeah, I if you want a tutorial on how I did this, let me know in comments and I will do one for you. But these pages are absolutely gorgeous. So Angela's done a kit and Rachel has done a kit and they go together beautifully. I got mine ready printed because my head's a shed and I had a lot on. So I ordered one from Angela and one from Rachel and Bella and they came ready printed. So I've got loads of pages to play with. So I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, spoilt for choice. Anyway, that's that. Did I tell you? It's tucks. Of course I did. Ten tucks. See, my head's a shed. But I can, I can manage this project. Of course I can. <laughs> right, I've got a few sheets of paper out. I'm just deciding which ones to use. I can't decide. They're all too yummy. I think I'm going to rule out the blue tits because I'm going to be folding and I wouldn't like to put an unfortunate fold across a uh, face or a blue tit. That wouldn't be nice, would it? I've got this one. Gorgeous. Don't know what flowers they are. That might be a little bit, I don't know, is it a bit dark? I'm going to be using these circles as part of it. I've just punched them out and inked them ready. I think I want to use this page. Yeah, this is one of the ones from Angela. What have I got on the back? Oh, I've got... I thought I had one with a plain page on the back. As if by magic. Voila! <laughs> That's the one I meant to pick up. So I'll put this other one away. Ta-da! Yeah, I want to use this one. I just thought it'd be a little bit easier if you to see which side of paper we're on, if they're not both too busy. So, first thing we're going to do, whether you're using A4 or whether you're using letter, it will work for both. I want you to fold over about an inch either side of your paper. Now, I am going to use a scoreboard because only because I'm extremely rubbish at folding small bits straight. So I'm going to use a scoreboard to do it. About an inch, it could be a bit less, could be a bit more. Like I said, there's no uh, measurements that you have to stick to with this. I've got my little... I don't know why on earth. <laughs> That's it. Well, yeah, I turned the scoreboard upside down. I've just been careful at ends because I've got my little scoreboard on my table. And it can be difficult sometimes to... Ooh, get the end without tearing it because it doesn't go way to end but that's the problem you really don't need to know about isn't it so I've scored an inch or folded an inch whatever floats your boat Whee. now we've got a wee in that'll make some people happy there's going to be lots of inking in this one and all for Phyllis <laughs> a lady called Phyllis loves inking for anyone who just, it's not an in joke that yeah, <laughs> I'd done a project one day and I'd skipped through all the inking and uh, Phyllis who watches most of my videos were like, she really likes to watch the inking, she finds it soothing. So whenever I ink now, I'm inking for Phyllis. There you go. And this is Gertrude, yeah, on front of journal. I call my Amazon device Gertrude because she just pipes in whenever, or she used to, she's gone a bit deaf and quiet these days. So I've named the lady on my journal Gertrude as well. Right, get back to Project Woman, you're waffling and going off on a tangent. So this is my template, there you go. Ta-da! So I've just folded it over each side an inch. That's just so that when we've got our tuck spots, we've got double 
thickness of paper on edge it'll make them a little bit more robust now next thing we need to do because as you can see I'm going to be I'm going to be I won't be stapling circles on I'm actually I'm going to fasten them on in a different way that would just be prototype they've got staples so next thing I want to do so if I put this as put that as we are I want to fold this side again but because I'm going to be popping these circles on that I've cut out ready I want to fold it so that my circles are going to fit on yeah so to do it I'm going to fold rest under and I'm going to fold I'm not measuring my circles are two inches across so it's a little bit more than two inches for those of you that do like a measurement or ten and I'm going to fold it. Get your bone folder woman, make it a nice crisp crease. There we go. Yeah, so we're now at this point. Yeah. <laughs> then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to turn it back over and then this bit I want to still look at my prototype. Yeah, I want to fold it so that I'm going to make it slightly different to my prototype because I want to see the Robin's beak. I don't want to fold it so I'm covering his beak up. He'll look a bit weird. So I'm going to... There you go. So that's how exact you don't need to be. This is why I'm not giving you measurements because if you've got paper that looks better folded over a little bit more or a little bit less, you can alter it the same. So I'm going to crease that again so now I've got this thing going off now I've just remembered I cut the pages for my journal down a smidgen only a smidgen so they're not the full height of A4 so I'm just going to take a little bit off this about it's about an eighth of an inch I've took off So if you're wanting it to be the exact height of your journal page, if you're using full pages, crack on. I just remembered I'd cut them down a tiny bit. Oh, they, oh, I didn't have to cut that much off, but I'm happy with that. I'm a happy bunny. Now, if you're a sewer and you like to sew things, you can sew around the edge of this when you've finished. It's totally up to you. You could open it up and sew around all the edges now and then fold it lots of things you could change on this to make it your own right so now I've got this thing going off and what I want to do next is glue these little flaps to make sure they don't go coming undone yeah I've not made this prototype fully so I am crafting by the seat of my pants a little bit use that side of your glue book woman so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on these flaps use your chosen preferred glue for stuff like this I'm quite happy with my glue stick and I'm loving this purple one because I can see where I put it especially when I'm videoing because I'm sat at an angle where I can't really see you know how you put glue on sometimes and it goes you can see where it's shiny I can't always see that because I've not got my head right over as I normally do so this purple glue is fabulous Right. Wee. Wee. There we go. Now if you prefer art glitter glue or just PVA glue or barely arts glue or dry glue like a tape runner, that would work just as well. Right. So oh, I'm quite liking that. Now we've got those glued down, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these eight circles. Now I should have uh, printed another one of these off myself. But oh, it's too much like I work printing when you get someone else to do it for you, isn't it? These all came on a sheet. There were eight circles. I've punched them out with my two inch circle punch. The teeny tiny bit bigger than two inch. So you could have used a slightly bigger circle punch. So I've punched them all out. I've inked them up. I did just print a little pattern on the back. It's, again, it's one of Angela's designs that. They're a bit rough, rough and ready around edges because my circle punch is a bit blunt. I've then gone and punched out 
four pieces, well perhaps I can't count, I did five, four pieces of card. I'm going to be attaching four of these circles to this. It's going to look like a belly band but it isn't. And then the other four are going to be little cards that you can journal on the back of. Now, I don't want to go punching through the middle of someone's face. Because again, I'm very wary where I'm punching. So they're going to be the ones I'm going to use as little tuck spots. I'm so loving him. I want him at bottom because he's so cheeky. Yeah, you're going to go at bottom, mate, because you're cheeky. And then I've got to choose three others that I'm going to fasten to that piece of paper. I'm going to have him as a tuck spot, I think, and I'll fasten these four. Now, before I fasten them, because it's quite it's 160 GSM paper these are printed on, I'm going to glue them to these circles. Again, I'm quite happy using my glue stick. So I'll get my little book out. Whee! Also, by the time I get to the fourth one, first one should have dried probably. Got a little bit of wiggle time with glue stick. So I didn't go ahead and ink the backs of them all because I knew I didn't want to ink all of them. So that's one glued. More gluing. Glue, 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 glue. These are just bits of scrap card that I've got in my stash. The only reason I've not used white is because it can be a bit harsh on my camera and send the light in funny when I use pure white. Otherwise I would have, because you don't see it. I'd have saved my cream ones for something else. Loving this glue. Yeah, again, if you were sewing, you could sew around the edge of these circles. That would look really nice. It wouldn't interfere with the function of them. I know Angela does a lot of sewing on her journals and they look absolutely gorgeous. So if anyone's come over from watching Angela, yeah, you might want to get a crappy sewing machine out. I do sew, but I don't. I like to do projects, and I know Angela does as well, that you can sew or you don't have to sew. I think if they look good not sewn, they're going to look exceptional sewn. Right, I've, I've been waffling, and I do not know if I've been sticking the right ones on. Yeah, nah, that's it, I have. I just need to stick that little squirrel on, he's just so cute. Look at him, the mink's a little bugger. I get squirrels sitting in trees looking at me sometimes. Can I say any today now? Squirrels, fat pigeons, and the odd tit or two. <laughs> and I don't mean neighbours. <laughs> Sorry. In sarcastic mode. Right, these are my four that I've now glued. Right, if I were <laughs> doing this, I would put them under something heavy so that they dried flat. Yeah. They'll stay flat. I'm optimistic that they're going to stay flat. Move my glue book. Now, if you saw my prototype when I was thinking about what to do, I used my stapler to staple these on. But I want to use, because this is supposed to be grungy, yeah, it's supposed to be grungy, woman, get a bit of ink on that. There you go, make it grungy. I'm using frayed burlap distress oxide ink. Whee. I, I love these kits actually because they lend themselves to, yeah. Been left completely uninked. Oh, they look good with a bit of ink on, don't they? Sometimes when you use these bright, colourful kits, you put dark ink on them and it just doesn't look right. So yeah, well done, ladies. I'm not a huge digital kit user, but when you get one this yummy, I want to play with it. I think that's because I have been a crafter for so many years. I've hoarded so much stuff and so much paper. I've been on a mission to use it up now for about two years. And yeah, I've barely made a dent. And then we also have to still keep buying more, don't we? Yeah, my name's Julie. I am a craft hoarder. As I use more, I can buy more. As long as I'm only buying half as much as I'm using, eventually... Eventually, it's it's gonna get used up. I just wonder if I've got enough years left to do that. I should have perhaps started this when I was twenty. 
No, I wouldn't have had the hoard by then, would I? Right, there we go. Lots of grunginess on. The other thing I always think when I think grungy is metal things, bits of metal and... Yeah, that's why I'm going to use eyelets to put these on. So that's my bottom one. That's Just look at his face. It, that squirrel is up to mischief. Right, I think I've got a child wanting some at two ticks. There we go, that's children's scene to... Yeah, Mink's a little squirrel. So, I want to fasten these on with eyelets. You can use eyelets or you can use brads. All you'd need to do if you're going to use brads is once you punch your hole to put your brad through, the legs would obviously be here. You could have folded that over more, but you would have wasted more paper. You just stick some paper over where your brad legs would be. But first, I want to... I'm going to put Mr Squiggle on at the bottom and I'm going to grab my proper dial or whatever thing you use for holes because I know these circles are two inches in diameter I know if I punched it one inch if I set my gauge on my proper dial to one inch I'd get my, my hole in the middle but I want it a little bit near at bottom so I've set it to uh, five eighths of an inch. Have I? No I haven't. One, two, three, four. yeah, five eighths of an inch. Yeah, that's going to put me circle, me hole about there. And because I want them all the same, I'm going to pile all these four up and I'm going to punch my circles. Just making sure the pictures are straight. I don't even know what top is of that. Oh, look, get the pot straight. That's it. I'm guesstimating where the middle is. And I'm going to punch. No going back now. Nah, you've put an hole in it, woman. <laughs> so I'm going to pop one there. And then I'm going to space these. I need to tuck them slightly under each other. I've worked out. To then have room. To tuck one of these. Into each. So these are four tuck spots. Yeah. Now, before I pop them on, I'm going to turn these into more tuck spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm just adding up quickly there, yeah. Four there, there's going to be two there, two there, and two there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten these together. Grab my glue. I'll do this one here. Yeah, you can tell I'm winging it and making it up as I go along. I know what I want to do, I've just never done it before. So I'm just going to pop some glue along the top. Pop some glue along the bottom. And I'm going to pop some glue about halfway up. In a straight line. Is that straight? It looks straight-ish. And I'm going to put that down. Ta-da! So that's going to turn the top and the bottom into two tuck spots. There we go. Now before I glue this one down, I obviously need to put these on. And then before I, yeah, I will put some eyelets so that you know where each tuck spot is. I need to let that glue dry first because I don't want to pull it up. You'll see anyway. Shut waffling woman. Right, find that cheeky little squirrel. So he's going to go on the bottom. We're going to use brads or eyelets. I want to use eyelets. I've grabbed some. What we've got? Yeah, these ones. I've got some bronze ones. One, two... Three, four. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud then. So he goes there. He's going to tuck under a little bit. So I'm going to have to mark where these holes need to go on to before. That's it. I want to just see the eyelet above the squirrel. So yeah. We've got room for that. I've got a pen out. 
and I'm going to do that and I'm hoping this is going to reach oh I've got something stuck in it that's it Oof. yeah it will reach I'm just thinking can I still reach to put my holes in now I've glued that I can so I'm going to put Mr Squirrel on These eyelets are slightly, just a smidgen bigger than me owl. Oh, they will fit though, they will fit. That's just down to the crocodile is metric done in inches. And I buy my eyelets in millimetres and sometimes they don't quite fit. There we go. Oh, look at him. That looks quite good, that now, with eyelet on his bucket. I'm just going to have to adjust the settings because I'm using small eye, small eyelets in my last video. So I'm using A on the top and I'm going to use 2 on the base. So that's A2. I'll get the best finish on my eyelets with those. So that is now on. I uh -huh. just realised something I forgot to do. These eyelets come with some little backs and just as a precaution to make sure these don't pop out I'm going to put some backs on. When you're using the A2 setting it's handy to use the backs just to make sure your eyelet doesn't pull through on something like this where you're going to be it might get a lot of use, getting pulled a lot. It's okay if you're doing a tag top, but on something like this, I would. So I've just got to decide what order now I want to put these in. That's the other one with the hole. Um, I think I'm going to put my flower at the top. Yeah, I'm going to put the hat next. I like that spacing. So I'm doing them one at a time because I wouldn't like to do them all and then realise I'd done it totally wrong. And I do hope you're following this. You can't see exactly where I'm punching because <laughs> it's too far over. There we go. I know we said we'd put the hat on next, didn't we? There we go. Now I'm just going to grab a pencil. I've just remembered how to make this hole a bit bigger. Whee! There we go. To get my eyelet in. That's it. That's just because, like I said, my eyelet's slightly bigger than it would be if I bought the genuine We Are Memory Keepers one. And I've still forgot to put that metal thing on back. I'll remember on the next one, she says. Oh, that's that. I'm loving how this is looking. I spent ages as well over the last couple of days fussy cutting bits out of this kit and I'm not using any of them. That's sod's law. Put your metal bit on back this time. that on uh, I think I might rename this it's not crafting about seat your pants I think it's crafting without a brain today there we go and I'm going to put that on you just put it on there and it's just like a little reinforcer if you don't have those you could cut a little piece of card and glue that onto it back And let's. That's fallen off. That's fell off. Eyelet's falling out. Let's do it that way up. 
Yeah, I wish I'd not glued that first now, then you would have seen me setting these eyelets a little bit better than you are. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I missed all. <laughs> oh no, I've missed all. Right, repair job. Right. So, if you've ever done this, mucked up putting an eyelet in, I go straight to the back of it with a little needle nose pliers. Just squish it. And you can normally push it through front. That's a mess. Right, I'm just going to see if I can save this. I probably can with my bone folder. Yeah. I'm happy with that. It didn't punch a hole through it, just put a dent in it. So I'll grab another eyelet. So you always see bits that go wrong on my channel. Because it's like, oh, edit it out or just leave it in. I'm going to leave it in. I'm a bit lazy like that. Now that hole's a bit, ew, not looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my small hole punch. I think this is about half an inch. I'm going to take one of these spare ones that I had. I'm just going to punch that out. I'm going to punch a hole. So you know what I was saying, if you don't have those backs for eyelets, you could put one of these on just to strengthen your paper. Well, I've just ended up having to do one. And I'm just going to glue that on. I'll use my art glitter glue because it's the fastest drying glue I've got. There we go. And it'll just strengthen up that bit of paper now. There we go. Yeah, don't glue that bit first like I did. I weren't going to glue it, then I'm like, oh, I forgot to glue that. No, I'd not forgot to glue it because it weren't time to glue it. So, let's try this again now. Oh, I just need to make that hole a little bit bigger, don't I? There we go. That tucks under. Yeah, this will go in fine until I start trying to put those metal bits on back. I'm wondering sometimes if they're worth it. I'm not going to. I've got that bit of card on. I'm just going to nip that up with my crocodile and not bother. Because I like to look at the top to make sure I've got that in the hole. There we go. And I'm not going to miss and make a mess. Oh, I like that. And the last one, which is the flower. About there. Last hole. What's that? Another eyelet. Get that back. I'm not bothering with that metal bit on back. Make you all bigger woman. See, I never remember out first time. I need to be told it time and time again before I remember. I mean, I've just done four of these and can I remember to make all a bit bigger in pencil? Not yet, no. I'll probably remember on 10, but I'm only doing four, so that's a bit tragic. <laughs> Right, so that's that. Oh, I'm liking that idea. Whee! Oh, just in that mindset, I need to come up with some, a new idea here today. And then they... Well, not two in there, woman. I think I might back these as well, because they're a bit thin. But I'll not make you watch me do that. I just love the look of all those circles. That's so cute. That's sticking up a teeny bit, but... Yeah, well hey. So that's four of our tuck spots. I'm just going to take these out again so I don't... I'll, I'll mess up in some way or another. Now what I want to do, just to illustrate that there's two tucks on each side. See, I, I sort of split a big tuck into two. Yeah. I wanted to make ten. I did it. So <laughs> I've, I can see where I glued it. I've glued it right where bottom of that set of flowers is so I'm just going to take this now I'm going to set my settings to um, I'm just going to try what 
half an inch looks like. I'm using it wrong, oh, wrong side. It's big one, woman. No, that's quarter of an inch. Yeah, and I'm just going to put a eyelet there at that quarter of an inch mark. And I'm going to do the same at the other side to make sure I get it in the same place. I'm just going to mark it. I'm using my T ruler. I'm marking where middle hole needs to be. So use that gauge again, quarter of an inch in. That's it. Mm, I've just. Do you know what? I could put an eyelet there, couldn't I? No. Stick to your bottom, and I want to put some eyelets at bottom. Just so it all comes together. Has that same grungy look. Oops, get rid of all them bits. And before I set these, I'm just going to glue that down to turn that into two pockets. So I've got my art glitter glue again. I know it's about where eyelet is. So I'm going to start there. Whee! And just glue across there. There we go. Then while that sets, I can pop all these other eyelets in. So I've got six to pop in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to be bothering with any rings on the other side for these. Because these are just for show. But I will remember to make these all bigger with my pencil. Like I said, that's just a step for us Europeans. Am I a European? I don't know. Have we been kicked out of Europe completely? Is it UK? I don't know. <laughs> no, we are still European. There we go. So I will just pop those six in. As if by magic all six are done. <laughs> I paused, yeah. And I just realised as I was doing it, I've not sealed top and bottom of those pockets. So I'm just going to come in with my glue. And just pop a little bit in. Now if you had one of the, if you had a different kind of hole punch, you had a long reach one, you could have just stapled that to your page with the eyelets, fastened it with your eyelets. But, which one am I gluing? There you go, my sis. Do you know what you're doing? Barely. It always works out right in end though, doesn't it? I always say, if things start to go wrong, do not throw your project away. There's always something you can do. I've actually got what I intended to do. I just, this is what I had in mind. I just ran out of time to do a prototype because I'd faffed too long cutting stuff out I weren't going to use. But I am going to use some of it. So, here we go. I've cut some of the bits out from the kit. And I went a little bit grungy with some of them. Where have they gone? Where have you put them, woman? Tell me I haven't lost them. It's highly likely with me. Here we go. I found them bits I'd lost. Yeah, I'd not put them in my basket. These were just cutter parts that came on a sheet. And all I've done is I've cut them up. I did some with my tear ruler and I cut some up with my deckle edge trimmer. Just to give them a slightly grungier look. And I'm going to pop. Will it fit? If it doesn't, I'll cut it down some more. That'll fit in the bottom. I've obviously not done that halfway, have I? So I can pop one in there. I think some are shorter than others anyway. Yeah, pick your shorter ones for the top. A little bit long. So if you've not seen a deckle edge trimmer, this is it. It's by Tim Holtz. And it just gives you that deckled edge. Yes, yeah, so I've just cut that one a bit shorter so it'll fit. This is this is the uh, danger in not measuring and <laughs> guesstimating. Sometimes things don't quite fit, so you have to alter them. 
but I think it's quicker to alter stuff sometimes than mess about measuring everything. That could do with being a little bit shorter as well, but it'll do for now. And then, did I cut that one shorter? I did. That will fit in there. Would it fit sideways? It would. Tell you what, I'm going to put that one there. Because that fits. And I'll put that one sideways because that's a deeper pocket. Yeah, I like that actually. We'll put you sideways in there, child. And then we'll pop... Ooh, I think that might be a bit too blue for this page. Then we can pop that in there. So... I might have done this. When we put this on the page, we'll have two more tuck spots. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get our journal out. And I'm going to glue it down to a page, which will then give me my other two tuck spots. In fact, I could. I could really be sneaky, put it in the middle of a page and have one there and there. No, I just want to put it over to one side. Put one there, one there, and I'm going to call it 10 tuck spots. And I'm wondering, do I want it on that first page? Or do I want it on another page? Oh, that's a pretty page. That's nice. Hmm. Now, whichever page you put it on... I would put it to, up towards the centre of the journal so you've got more room. You could put it that side, couldn't you? You could, yeah. Or I could put it... I could, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go anywhere, isn't it, really? Look at me faffing deciding where she's going to put it. I mean, I'm going to alter. I'm going to alter order a lot of the... Oh, I like it on there. Oh, I do like it on there. Yeah, I'm going to pop it there. Yeah, it's the perfect height for that page as well. Some of my pages are a bit taller than others. So I'm just going to take that out on a journal. Oh, it's got a pocket on the other side. Silly woman, you're destroying your journal. Stay. And it's going to go on there. I'm just going to ink the centre crease on my journal because I can't see where it is. If in doubt, ink it. I do intend inking some of these page edges anyway to give that grungy look. There we go, but I can now see where the centre crease is. Pop a bit more ink on that side, I'll see it even better. Now, so far as well, I have not watched anyone's videos in this collaboration because sometimes I just don't want to be influenced by what other people have done. I can't do... I get to a point where I can't think of something that's uniquely mine because if my head's full of what everyone else has done so I'm going to start watching them now oh, I'm going to glue that on there yeah, I'm loving it so I'm just going to use my art glitter a strip across the top a strip across the middle because, yeah, these are two separate tuck spots, remember? And a strip across bottom. That glue across the middle will help hold it on as well. All these eyelets, we've added a little bit of weight to this, haven't we? Put a little dot there. And a little dot there. Don't put your fingers in glue, woman. And I'm going to pop it on, not too near its spine, or it'll interfere with... Page. Turning. I'm just going to turn it sideways so I can see if I've got it lined up right. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, I'm well happy with that. So my vision has come to life. <laughs> Normally with things like this, I'll make a full prototype so that you know what I'm on about. So I do hope you followed that okay, those of you who stuck with it, because I didn't have one to show you. And there we go. Now I can pop two more journal cards in. Now I do need some that are slightly longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab 
another printable this the, this one's from Rachel and I'm just going to cut two of these tags out so I can pop those in there I haven't glued along that edge because yet yeah, that way you can get a slightly longer tag in are these going to be long enough no they're not long enough maybe I could get the really long ones in or I could make my own tell you what let's make my own Oh, I've got postcards. Oh, look at those. Would they fit? No, they're going to be slightly too tall. But I could cut them. I could cut two of them down a little bit. I could perhaps cut that one down and that one down, and they would fit in the side. No, I want to go with tags. Like two ticks. And I'm back. You know when you've seen something. Voila. Yeah. Again, these are from Rachel's kit. And I'm going to use these two. I've just printed on the back. Don't ask me what that is. That was supposed to be just a neutral page. It came out with stripes due to my printer being a bit temperamental. Well, temperamental, it's... I need another pink ink cartridge. I has run out of pink ink. So it came out with those stripes and I quite liked them. So I kept it. Because these ephemera pieces came from Rachel uh, White on the back. And I thought, this this paper she's used, I don't know if it's, this might be about 200 GSM. It seems thick enough just to use as is. So I went and printed on the back. I'm not cutting out perfectly because I'm going to ink the edges and then it covers up any white. And it's supposed to be a grungy rustic page, this. Well, tuck spots. Grungy tuck spots. And now I'm busy doing the tags for the tuck spots. Yee. Could have done them with my deckle edge trimmer, but I'd have probably mucked them up. Because these lines aren't straight. Yee. Just need to do those bottom corners. Ooh, <laughs> one went a bit squiffy. But we don't mind, it's grungy. I see grungy as imperfect as well. Right, grab your ink woman. Have a little dip, still using my frayed burlap. It's my favourite colour. I know a lot of people are liking that new colour by Tim Holtz and I forgot what it's called. <laughs> it's dark, it looks a bit dark for me at minute. I'll probably love it when winter comes around. But at minute, a bit too dark for me and I can't even remember what it's called. Oh lordy, what's it called? I don't know. It's not called soil, is it? No. <laughs> soil. <laughs> Soiled. Child journal, no. Actually there is an ink, someone in their range has got an ink called potting soil. Is that a memento one? I'm not sure. It could be one of the archival inks that's called potting soil. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not following my own advice there, am I? If you don't know, I'll just shut up. <laughs> I'm like, if you don't know, just waffle. Waffle till you get it. Fake it till you make it. Style it out. Whatever. No, just shut up. Okay. <laughs> Kids, they're all in their eyes somewhere in the house if they can hear me. They'll be like, what is that woman on about? Right. <laughs> Oh, I've got to punch holes in this and put eyelets in answer just to fit with everything else. So, I think I've lost ability to even tell you what I'm up to now. I'm just, yeah, cracking on with summer. Ta da! I don't even know if I dare put an eyelet in there the way I'm performing. 
Yeah, we've got to have an eyelet in. Grab a couple more. Ooh, no, I'm not going to put eyelets in. I've just remembered I punched out a load of those little grungy little reinforcements in different shapes. I'm just going to grab a couple of those. Why have I only got shaped ones? Oh look, we've got a pointy shaped one. That might look good. <laughs> she says. Oh, I like that. It mirrors the shape of the tag. Yeah. Oh, that's like a wood grain I've done. That's like a wood grain. Yeah, use those. Sorted. I've got to put some ink on them, aren't I, to make them grungy. Grungy, grungy. Sun's been in and out through this video. I hope I can sort this out in my limited editing capacity. I do still want to put eyelets in. I don't know why I threw them back in like they were hot. Ouch, ouch. I just want that in as well. Add that little bit of an extra bit to it. Remember to put your pencil in, woman. My hole bigger. How many eyelets have I done now? Two, four, six, ten already. I said it would take ten for me to remember. I was wrong because I'm now on the eleventh eyelet and I still have not remembered. I'm going to squeeze it too tight, so I just want to make sure oh, I've missed again. Why am I missing? I'm not going to redo that one. You've seen how I redo an eyelet when I've missed now, haven't you? I'll do that one off camera. Whee. I'm just going to put a bit of string through it. Do this one right. Use your pencil. So... I look 12 and I've remembered to stick my pencil in and make I look bigger, the hole bigger. Lordy. Point that up. There you go. Ta da! Yeah, I quite like that. So that is going to pop in there. There you go. And because I haven't sealed it on that end, it will fit. Otherwise, that would have been a bit too long. That's going to pop in there. I'm going to throw a little bit of string on. And I'm going to call it a day. Also, it comes out. I'm just going to cut a couple of lengths. I'm not messing with bows. And you could add dangles on. You could go to town and add anything on. There we go. So that's one tag. So we've done it. We've managed a page, a one page wonder with 10 tuck spots. I might leave that eyelet. I know it's a bit bent, but I quite like it. Right, so there we have it. Did I <laughs> scoop everything to one edge? Phew, we got there, didn't we? I knew I could, <laughs> she says. I thought I could. And I'm just gonna pop that back in the journal so you can see it in situ to see what it's gonna look like. Right, so it goes there because I've done these two pages, <clears throat> excuse me, with pockets opposite like so and then we've got that one there. Oh I really like that, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. The only thing I think that would make that look any better, I might put some I might put some tabs on those, but I wanted it to look when you first see the page that it's just like some kind of belly band, yeah? With circles, then you'd be like, oh, oh that one comes out. 
So it could be a little hidden journal spot. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. For mistakes and all. I was faffs and all. And yeah. So check out the links in my description to everyone else who's taking part. I've just faffed. And those tags from Rachel and... <laughs> They would have fit lovely. Oh well, whatever. We've we've used these ones now, haven't we? Yeah, I didn't think of that. So yeah, check out the links. Have a look at everyone else who's taking part. And yeah, make yourself a journal. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.